Okay, we're here today with Jack Kipfer. How are you doing, buddy? Good. Beautiful boats today. I mean, a lot of work has gone into these. Tell me a little bit about, about these boats. How hard are they to build and the details and everything on that you have to work on yourself? This one here is a 1917, and it, the real one's still on the water. That's a 2005, and it's a, a modern day built boat for somebody that wanted an antique style boat. And it's built to the 1930s, ditch burn style. And this was uh, is a shortened Gold Cup race boat from the 1920s also. And it's also a 2002 model to give people the old style boats with today's modern engines. Modern, modern technology, technology and the, the epoxies and all the stuff that goes with it to make them last. As I say, this is 1917 and it's still running. Wow. And uh, the hope is with the modern technology that the newer boats will last just as long or longer. I mean, I'm looking at this and I can see all the planks, I see rivets, I, I mean, I look at the flooring, we got leather seats, we got beautiful wooden steering wheel, all the gauges. How much work is this to put together? Well, these are about a five to 700 hour boat. Wow. Uh, to do it all, I do everything. Uh, the only thing that I've purchased is the engine, the radio, the propeller, and these hinges. And everything Beyond else that, is handled. Everything is hidden made. Like on this one, the uh, gas cap actually works. How hard is it to build stuff like that? Like, you, did you have to actually sit there and figure out how to make it? Well, there's two things. You have to figure out how you're going to hold it because anything that's small is hard to hold. So you have to do it in steps. Uh, you have to make it. I'm lazy, so I make it as easy as possible. Well, of course, of course. So you again, you can hang on to stuff and so on. But I have equipment to do it with now. These pieces, the pin is stainless steel, but everything else, like all of these, are aluminum in a 6061 T6 series, which is very hard. And you can and buff it, it up. And up. you polish yeah. it up. Look and at that. A lot of people always ask me when they see okay. these boats, what kind of wood are we using to build the boats? This is all mahogany, with the exception of the oak rub rails. The white strips in between are, like each individual plank is put in, and the white strips in between are, are uh, styrene plastic oh, to simulate okay. the, to the, simulate the, the, uh, caulking, joints. the caulking joints. Again, as in all of them, the hatches all open. Oh, and the, all the hatches open. This is open the mother-in-law seat. In mother-in-law seat, of course, you gotta keep her quiet. <laughs> Shove her in front of the boat. All the lights work, all the navigation lights, the dash lights, they all work. These two particular boats, the whole inside will lift out. Mm -hmm. So you can work on it, and that's where a lot of people make mistakes. They b either build it in and can't get it out after, or they don't build it in and then they try to put it in after. Try to open that little door in there and you try to work in there. Yep. I mean, that's well, pretty... You, just that, can't, do you it. can't do it. That's so pretty all of tough. this stuff, as I say, well, it all pops out. Now, and, the seat's actually leather? Yep. And that's real yeah. leather. The leather in that one came off of the scrap leather from the seats for the real boat. From the real boat. So there you go. That's authenticity, folks. Yep. Well, Jack... Thanks a lot, yep. fantastic. You know what, we're gonna go take these out in the water and take After, a look how they yep, run, okay. That. Now it's time for the big boys with cool toys, tech tip of the week. Hi, I'm Alex Morgan from Big Boys with Cool Toys. Today's tech tip is how to spray paint a body. Well, right here we have ProLine's body, F100, old pickup truck. Now, how to get started with it? Well, basically, 
clean up your body with the, some Windex and stuff so everything is gets all the film and dirt off of it. The next step is to take your stickers that cover your windows, apply them on all the inside windows, then take your spray paint, shake it up, spray the whole inside of the body. Even if you get some overspray on the outside edges, it's okay because you're going to be cutting that off. Then after you're done spraying and you wait a couple of hours for it to dry, peel off the windows, all of the stickers, the window stickers, so you can see back through and they're clear. Then cut with a pair of hobby grade quality cutting knife scissors, cut around the whole outside shell, and then you'll have your body ready to rock and roll. After that, take your decals, put your headlights and all of the stickers where they should be throughout the whole body, and then you get a finished product that pretty much looks like this. See-through windows, it's one color, spray painted one color from the inside, and all of the decals which give you your tail lights and your headlights, and that's Big Boy's tech tip of the week.